what's up, everybody? Marcos Vegas for Fight Up TV here in Santa Monica, being joined with Andy Ruiz Jr., who's getting ready for his Jarrell Big Baby Miller fight coming up. Andy, last saw you in LA against Luis Ortiz. Had a little bit of a, you know, inactivity. You had some issues. You took care of them. You had an injury. You took care of that coming into this fight. You mentioned something really interesting to me uh, during the workout. You said when you were coming into that fight with Luis Ortiz, you were a little nervous because of the inactivity. Do you feel that same way coming into this also because of the inactivity? I think we all, I think we all get nervous, man. Every fighter in, in this sport, we all get nervous because the last thing that comes out of our, our the first thing that comes out of our mind is like, oh, what if I lose? What what if I don't look good? What if I don't feel good? But that's normal. That's that helps you. The the nervousness it, it helps you for some reason. But um, but no, but I think for Luis Ortiz, I was more nervous because he was a big, strong guy. He only lost against Wilder. He's a tricky fighter, a lefty. It was my first time fighting a lefty fighter. I haven't fought in a year and a half or I don't know how long. And boom, they put me with with him. And I was like, man, I was telling my dad, dad, I, I'm a little nervous, man. Well, like, um, I haven't fought a lefty. And he's like, no, you're going to do good, son. You're going to do good. You're fast. You you have a lot of experience. He's not going to see your punches. And I was, I was like, all right. So, um, like I said, I'm not scared of nobody, man. I, I have faith, and I know God put me here for a reason. And and that's exactly what we're going to do on August 3rd. Um, yeah, well, yeah, we get a little nervous. Um, but best believe we're going to do our best, and we're going to die trying to win. How was the time away for you? I, I know... Like I mentioned earlier, you had an injury, you got through that, you had a, a separation, you got through that, but how was that time for you being away? I mean, it was, it was tough, you know, it was tough. I wish I could have been here being active, but sometimes it was good because it's good to, to take a, a break, you know. You don't want to go in there um, not focused. You don't want to go inside the ring um, unmotivated. You don't want to go in there... Um, well, you're well, well, you're not focused. You know, it's really dangerous. Imagine you forcing yourself just to to fight and um, just to get a quick payday, and then you're not focused, and boom, you end up getting hurt, you lose, or anything like that. So, I think it was really good for me to take a break, um, think about all all the stuff that that happened, um, find myself again, uh, get my hunger, get my motivation, get find the purpose again of why I do this. And that's exactly what I did. I found my purpose. That's fighting for my kids, fighting for my loved ones, for my legacy, and putting God um, first, you know? The shoulder looks good. You haven't had any problems, right? No, it looked really good. It looked explosive. I didn't want to show too much <laughs> right here. But um, but and, and fight night is in a show, you know? Um, we've been working a lot. We've been resting it a lot. So uh, we've been training really good. So... I'm excited to be back. Is there any part of you as a fighter when you've had such a, a long layoff like this about like rust and, and how the inactivity is going to affect you the night of the fight? That's what I thought when I fought Chris Arriola. That's what I thought with, um, with Luis Ortiz, but I felt a little sharp, you know? I know I could have done a lot better, but, 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 but of course, when you're active, when you're more busy, of course, you're, you're better, you're sharper and all that. But we've been training a lot. We've been doing a lot of mints. We've been sparring a lot. So I feel my sharp, the the quickness, the combinations. I think it's all going to be there. You know, God willing, we, we get this knockout. But I never predict no knockouts. You know, and the knockout comes when it comes. But best believe uh, we're going to get this victory, God willing. But um, I'm not I'm not too scared of the inactivity thing. I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm back in action. And, you know, this is just the beginning. This is my, my, my prime. I know you don't predict the knockouts, but I know fighters have like gut feelings just based on how a fighter looked in their last fight and style-wise. Do you have that gut feeling that you, you don't know when it's going to happen, but that it's more than likely you do you see yourself knocking out Jarrell? Um, I hope so, man. I hope so. Uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunities that I can. He opens up a lot. I'm a really good counter puncher. He comes in forward. Um, but that's the plan, you know. That's the plan to get him out of there. Uh, and move on to the next, but um, but I don't like to predict anything, man. I just want to win. I just want to win, no matter how it is. If it's decision, if it's knockout, if it's whatever it is, he doesn't want to fight. I just want to win and move on, and hopefully fight in December. No, you fought uh, Anthony Joshua. You became uh, the heavyweight champion. You fought Joseph Parker. Um, you fought a, a lot of Luis Ortiz. 
you know, a lot of solid heavyweights. Where, where do you think Jarrell Miller ranks amongst those guys? Like, how difficult of a style or, or challenge does he present when compared to those guys? I mean, he's pretty good. He's pretty good, you know. He, I think he, he, this was his first loss. Yeah, we uh, yeah. That was his first loss. You know, he's a big guy. He, he comes forward. He throws a lot of bombs. Um, he brings his weight in. But I see a lot of flaws in him. He opens up a lot. I feel my combinations, the speed, the timing, the count, the counter punching that, that I do. I feel that's gonna play a lot of a lot of part in this fight. Um, but he's ranked he's ranked pretty good up there, you know. I didn't want to take an easy fight um, because I want to get back in the rankings fast. So I think this fight was really important, and um, and I thought it was good. I think he's gonna make me look good and. But like I said, anything could happen inside that ring. That's why I don't underestimate nobody. I try to, I try to work hard. I try to, I try to think like this is a championship fight, you know. So I got to do my best in there. With Dubois, he looked really good for like the first six rounds, and then he seemed to like just gas after like the six rounds. Like I know I would imagine you're expecting him to be or, or look better than that. But I know is is that something that sticks out in your mind? Like hey. This guy might have trouble the longer this fight goes, or do you think he'll be like the the big baby of three, four years ago, where he's he's more or less like a heavyweight cardio machine? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I hope he gets tired. I hope he gets tired in the first second round. But um, but you gotta you gotta prepare um, for the worst. You know, you gotta prepare for for what happens. You know, what if he if he's stronger? What if he lasts longer? What if he has more stamina? What if he did something better than he did in his last camp? You never know, you know? So that's why for us, it's really important for us to stay disciplined and stay focused and and not um, get overconfident, you know? Just because of his, the way that he looked, because I'm pretty sure other fighters will think like, oh, what if he's gonna look like the same way? He's gonna fight the same way, but you never know. What if he did a little bit different? But I'm just focused on what I'm going to do and exactly what we've been focusing on and training on. And, you know, that's just throwing bombs, throwing combinations, being smart in there and waiting for him to to open up and me throw and uh, unleash, you know. But like I said, we can't we can't underestimate nobody, especially in this heavyweight division. Nobody. OK, <laughs> um, Andy, is this just like uh, another fight for you or, or do you see a lot is at stake with this fight in terms of what you want to do in your future. I think right now is my comeback. You know, um, for for me, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, pressure because I want to look good, I want to win, um, all that. You know, but maybe for everybody else, it's like, oh, Andy's back, Andy's in a fight. But for me, it's 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 important. You know, it's important for me to win because I haven't fought in in two years. Um, I want to become champion again and. Baby Miller is in front of me, and um, like I said, I got to climb up the ladders. I got to win these fights, and God willing, we fight December, and, you know, we get these victories, and maybe I get the rematch with Joseph Parker. All right, my final one here, because uh, I know you got to go uh, to the soccer game, I, I think, uh, later on. Uh, reading my questions here, um, you know, what do you make of Joshua's comeback after the Usyk losses, in, in your opinion? Um, I think he did what he had to do, you know. I think uh, they gave him easy opponents, um, but maybe that's what he needed to get back that confidence, to get that momentum back going, you know. That's exactly what, what I got to do as well. So, um, you know, he's doing his thing. He, fi he found himself. He found his his motivation. And But I do believe it's going to be a, a tough fight between him and Dubois. Right. Hey, Andy. Hey, as always, yeah. good chatting with you. Good Thank catching you, up with you. Wish yeah. you nothing but the best. Always, Andy. You. Hopefully you guys go to the ranch, man, and check it out. I've been hearing stories about yeah, this ranch. Yeah, <laughs> Andy Ruiz coming up August 3rd against Jarrell Big Baby Miller here in Los Angeles.